What's up, guys? Welcome to the show today. We're going to be going over my top 10 rookie wide receivers. So thank you guys for tuning in. I did rookie running backs on Monday. So go ahead and check out that video on the channel as well. If you have two seconds, please hit subscribe and like the video. Let me know if you subscribe down in the comments. I really like reaching out and just talking with everyone in the comments. So feel free to leave anything down there and I respond very quickly if I can. So I appreciate it, y'all. Let's get into the video today. Top 10 rookie wide receivers pre-draft. So Number 10, we're coming in here with Troy Franklin from Oregon. 21 years old, very good season there in college. I do think Troy Franklin has a chance to be very good in the NFL. Obviously, landing spot, draft capital, that always matters for running backs, wide receivers, quarterbacks, literally every position. I am slightly concerned that Franklin just may not transition as well as some of these other guys ahead of him. But if he gets the capital day two, probably, you know, it's definitely there for him. He has a chance. He's a very speedy guy. So. Number nine here, Ricky Purcell. I think he's just a very solid player, a very good route runner, very good with the ball in his hands, very good at being in the right spot at the right time. His stats, not as good as Franklin's, but college stats really don't really tell the full picture with most players. He's a little older, so I don't know. You know, maybe the ceiling's not as high, but he's a safer player than Franklin. It really is apples and oranges here. Sometimes we're comparing different types of players, and you have to go attack the type of player you want to add to your dynasty team. Uh, number eight here, Xavier Leggett. This one is risky, man. This dude could be amazing or absolutely terrible. He basically had one monster season in the SEC and basically did nothing else the rest of his career. 23 years old, 71 catches, 1,255 yards, seven TDs last year. So he dominated in the SEC at South Carolina last year. So the upside is there. It's just, you know, we've seen some of these guys flame out the last couple of years. The Jonathan Mingos, the Traylon Burks. So it's kind of hard going after these big body kind of guys, but I think I have him at eight here from now. I'm very curious to see where he gets drafted. Number seven, Lad McConkey, kind of like a slightly better version of Ricky Purcell, not to just compare the white wide receivers, but 22 years old, really didn't have the stats this year, but just a very good player. And I think a lot of people have him very high on their board. So this guy may get the draft capital to kind of stick to his position or even move up a little bit. As much as we want to go off our own film grades of some of these rookies, draft capital matters so much and you have to build it into your rank of these players, especially pre-draft. If you're doing any sort of rookie draft now, you got to be careful. But my ranks can always change after the NFL draft this week, so let's keep that in mind. Coming here at number six, Adonai Mitchell. Same thing, man. There's a pattern with a lot of these guys. They could be amazing or they could be basically nothing. And Mitchell is kind of one of those guys. Like, he might just be a, a Zay Jones, get a couple TDs, red zone target. But he also profiles as someone that could be George Pickens and have uh, the potential to be the wide receiver one on an NFL team. Just 21, obviously played at Georgia before he played at Texas here. Really good season last year. And he has all the tools if he can put it all together. So I have Adonai Mitchell here, number six. Number five, Brian Thomas Jr. out of LSU. Monster season last year. Both the LSU guys did uh, with Jan Daniels there throwing them the ball. But Thomas, same thing as Adonai Mitchell, man. He kind of profiles as a one. But is he going to be a fantasy wide receiver one? Or is he just going to be an NFL one and kind of serve his role there on the outside of offenses? So it's very tough. But I do think Brian Thomas has that ceiling that I'm interested in if he gets the right landing spot in the NFL draft Thursday or Friday here. Number four, Xavier Worthy. This guy may be a little higher than I think people are expecting. But for me, I just see a tough time him not getting the draft capital. He's such a speed freak. And he had such a good breakout year in college. And I don't know if you guys ever watched Texas games. I live down in here in Austin. I didn't go to UT uh, but I do end up watching a bunch of Longhorn games. And Worthy just didn't really get the quarterback play to support him, similar to Adonai Mitchell, that it's kind of tough to judge how good these guys actually are because I don't think Quinn Ewers really gave him a fair shot or the other quarterbacks when they came in last year. So I don't really know. But I think Xavier Worthy's going to get the draft capital was why I have him up here at wide receiver four. Wide receiver three, Roma Dunze, man, this is basically chalk. I understand if people might have these guys indifferent, but Odunze, about as good as they get wide receiver prospects, man. This guy is good at absolutely everything. He's going to get really high NFL draft 
capital. And I love having here at wide receiver three. This is a great draft if you're trying to get a rookie wide receiver. So hats off to you. 23, your, 23 years old here for Roma Dunze. Absolutely love him. Uh, obviously, he went to Washington, not Tennessee. I put the wrong info there in the clip here. Number two, Malik Neighbors went to LSU. Wow, I really messed these graphics up. But the stats are right. Uh, Malik Neighbors out of LSU had an absolute monster season last year. 1,569 yards for Malik Neighbors. And when it comes down to it, this dude is just going to be an immense pro. And I love getting this dude as the wide receiver two in drafts. I totally understand why the next guy is going first. But I think Malik Neighbors has every tool to be a wide receiver one in the NFL and in fantasy fo football. And I love having him here uh, in the NFL draft. And number one, Marvin Harrison Jr. Uh, when it comes down to it, Marvin Harrison Jr. is just an absolute freak out of Ohio State. 21 years old, monster season last year. And we all know his dad. And I know it's hard not to build that in. But the dude knows how to run routes. The dude knows how to get open. And he is just an absolute professional so thank you guys for tuning in i totally realized i messed up some of these graphics i hadn't even paid attention i was doing this really fast trying to get these videos out to you before the nfl draft but the rankings are right and the stats are right feel free to make fun of me in the comments it's just all fun and games we know where these guys went to school and once we get the draft capital we're really going to know where to have them in our rookie rankings so thank you guys for tuning in i really appreciate it and hit subscribe if you can thanks guys